Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that complements your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. We'll live a life that's not wasteful. We'll be in control of everything and only take what we need when we need it. We'll keep your belly from grumbling and you can help carry us all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. You just need something to motivate you. Perhaps a new adventure? New family? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? Well, welcome to the van. 
This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. Well, I'm more than willing to defer to you if your instincts are sharp. I trust that you're a smart pup, Noodle. And I need help with more than running. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. <laughs> But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, if we have to, we might, but... We're here to face it all. To see what we're really made of. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary out there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. If I can handle things out here, I'll be fine for what's back in the city. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. This is going so well. Well, we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. I'm not sure I'm ready for you. One day, I hope I am. Adopting dogs is so easy! I basically just love all of you. Our team is almost complete and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? I said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? It looks like you've got a pretty good life here. It's great meeting you, Barkley. We're nearly a complete pack! Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision.
Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. You're a lovely pup, but you seem pretty happy here. Take care, pal. Getting so close to a complete team. Okay, we've got a few more stops left, and we only need one more pup. I know we'll find the right one. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. It seems like you've got a nice thing going here. Enjoy it, buddy. We're really building a great team here. All right, our final dog is just up ahead. You wait here. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us. Well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So, Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. We'll probably have to make some decisions we don't want to, but that's how we find out what we truly are. Are you a pup that can smell porcupines and keep your nose out of trouble? I hope so, because I'd be happy to avoid whatever trouble I can. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't wait to get to know y'all better and let you do what you love most. Run. I can't believe we made it to Alaska, Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. 
And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Slayer, Finn, Bodega, Noodle. And the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. <laughs> Now up here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. Ha! Big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. You're making this feel really personal. I can't miss from here. Thank you for helping us. That worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Another meal ready to go. Two bullets left, team. Let's be safe out there. Slow down a bit, pups. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's a porcupine. Do you guys ever poke yourselves? What if you get like a mini tumbleweed back there? Yeah, there probably aren't tumbleweeds here. I'm just making an observation. I don't know what to do with you. I mean, it's not like Chomper can have at you. But seriously, what about like a leaf just getting stabbed on one of your spikes, then what? Thanks for waiting, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go.
Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! <sighs> the previous owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Hey, pups. Let's be safe out there. I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Should we camp? We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up, to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. Hi, Noodle. This is feeling more exciting to you? Yeah, okay, let's just get some scratches. In. Right, I'm just. I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. You did good out there. I don't mind you found a skunk. I trust you, Finn. You can tell you still smell a little. I love you, buddy. Fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time! Chow down, pups. I'm ready to cook some food. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Finn? Did you take my beanie? It kind of looks like you did. Are you comforted by my scent? Cause I think you're thinking about being my friend. Okay. Well, uh, I'll need that hat back before we go running, but... Finn? Did you take my- It kinda looks like- Are you comforted? Cause I- Okay! Pets, pets, pets! Get back on the trail. Finn? I'm gonna need my beanie back now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Let's be safe out there. Hmm. Let's go... Gee! <gasps> Did you see that? A bald eagle! Uh, 
No, Chopper, I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? You know these woods. Is it worth following? Follow it is. You're a lot bigger than I expected. I heard it's illegal to shoot a bald eagle. Do you know if that's true? I know you used to be endangered. Huh. So, uh, know any good places to eat around here? Okay, then. I probably shouldn't give into your prey drive, but this seriously helps our lack of bullets situation. So we're gonna have so much future training to do, buddy. Okay, you feeling energized? Let's get back on track. Chomper, you back at the lead? Let's go, Chomper. See that? It's a caribou. Just stay there. Thank you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. Well, that was worth it. Some more food. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. I think we're done here. Let's go. An elk? It's so majestic. You okay, Slayer? You're looking a little more skittish than normal. Don't worry, Slayer. We don't need to face our fears yet. We're just getting started. No need to rip the bandage off immediately. We're still getting to know each other. Oh, great. A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. See, he's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? Oh. Oh no. What? Chomper! You downed it in one gulp! Okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back on the trail. Come on. Chomper, do you mind not releasing everyone? All the time? Let's be safe out there. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's take a break. Take a break, pups. We don't have anything to make a fire. Maybe we should eat.
Boot time! Chow down, pups. Hey, Finn. So... Okay, okay, but you are warming up to me. We'll just... And maybe I'll give... Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep it... Hey, Noodle. You can't keep running, but at some point... Okay, I'll stop telling you what you know. How about some scratches? You seem to really be coming into your... Though it would be nice if you didn't derail our journey by chasing squirrels. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, girl, a promise is a promise. Here is my beanie. I'll probably be a bit cold tonight, but... Okay, Finn. I really think Finn is starting to like me. We'll be a little cold tonight, but it's worth it. All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail. Hey, Finn, I'm gonna need my beanie back now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Let's get back out there. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow, and then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. You're keeping us out of trouble and far away from Elk Slayer. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher. Like, a real one. I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Fork in the road, or two. friend. It's okay. You can stay over there. We don't mind. Mush. Mush! Ah! Let go! Okay. It's just a scratch. A scratch from a giant wolf mouth. We can patch this up. We know how to do this. Go out there. I think we're done here. Let's go. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now I'm not so sure. Wolves are following us around. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually? For you. Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. Let's rest. This looks pretty good. Maybe we should eat. Get back on the trail. 
Finn, I'm gonna need my beanie back now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Let's be safe out there. Chopper, don't get any bad ideas. You already have one, don't you? What in the... So many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. I am just going to, uh, take this. It opens locks, strips bark, hits things. The first and best multi-tool. I really should have packed an axe instead of waiting to get one at the cabin. It's far more useful with me than not. Oh well, I've got one now. Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Okay, I'm back. This birch will really help. We'll be able to get warm. I think we're done here. Let's go. Sure. Are you all alone? You really are alone, huh? I'd be lonely out here if I didn't have this pack of dogs to keep me busy. Though I have really taken to this talking to myself thing, apparently. Do bears talk to themselves? Like, man, can't wait to catch this salmon. Wonder if I can get 100 this year. Or like, my back itches. Anyone know of a good scratching tree? Wait, don't lots of bears congregate at the same tree? I saw that somewhere. One cub is fine, but if another shows up, less so. Oh god, where's the mother? Thanks for waiting, pups. Ready to go? Fork in the road. Where to? Ha! Huh. Come on. I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Ah! Ah! A nightmare. Okay, well... At least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? I know what to be wary of.
That little nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chomps? <laughs> so let's go. Let's get out there and live wildly. Live the life that feels true to us. Right, uh, the cabin's supposed to be... We've got an axe to help us get some wood. Ready to set out on our adventure to a new home? Uh, mush on! Would you look at that? Where'd your buddy go? Uh, guess their distraction didn't work. You're far too food territorial to allow a weasel to steal something from you. Go ahead and chow down on that piece of meat. I'll pack up the weasel. Good job, Bodega. I appreciate you looking out for us. That was a good diversion. Another meal ready to go. I think we're done here. Let's go. Can you actually find food like that? And to think it just knows how to do this. Just knows how to survive. We could all be so lucky. So you just keep going. You knew you were close, and you had to push through. Hm. Happy hunting, little one. I'm back. Let's get back out there. I know the map isn't great, but we should be almost there. It's just a little further, Chopper. Wait, is that? Did we actually make it? I knew all we had to do was move our feet. 
If we were meant to find this place, we would. We had to persevere. We'd find our way. And now, her red lantern hangs for us, calling us to our new home. Welcome home.